Q lights, Q logo, focus. All right, cue the intro. Game Waltz. Game Waltz. Game Waltz. Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Game Waltz. I am RJ, your host, and with me, as usual, is the game. Uh, this today we're playing Doki Doki pa- uh, Literature Cl- Doki Doki Panic. Doki Doki Literature Club is the game we're playing, and um, we did some poetry last episode and talked to Yuri where she gave me a a book. Uh, I have this thing in my head, Um, just real quick. Uh, I have this kind of some acne problems, and there's one like buried in my forehead. It hurts so bad. I'm sure that's relatable to the three people that still have acne when they're in their 30s. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. They're cheering back and forth at each other. So anyway, let's, let's do this. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Oh my. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ooh. Let's see what not, not I'm curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. At the same time, I'd feel bad for distracting her from reading. Catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, it seems like she was on. She seems to be on the first few pages. She gave me a book that neither one of us may like. It's a really risky proposition. Oh, crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. Yeah, I just imagined him like clenching onto the edge of his desk, just like unblinking eyes, just staring at her, like, <sighs> "Hi, Yuri." She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Mm-hmm. She only makes only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. So sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, since sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's it's fine. I was fo- if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book you gave me, right? Did you, did you you did you read this book? Are you rereading a book? What kind of freak are you? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. <laughs> Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, <laughs> I just happened to buy two of them. That's all. I see. That's not weird and cryptic at all. Let's move on. Something very obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. She bought two of them because she wants to read them the book at the same time with you. She has a thing crush on you, person. Boop. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Not right now, though, because I have other things to do. I'm I'm glad to hear. Uh, once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It starts to pick up. Do books pick up? Is that a thing? I've... It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that a thing, says the author who writes books? Is that so? What's what's it about, anyway? Before I even remotely even read the back cover, what's it about? Well... Mm, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Who's Markov? There's an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give every anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. As soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. Cool. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship and her mu- and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of awesome. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Dude, I would love to read this book. It sounds awesome. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of, came from nowhere. Ha ha ha. Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, RJ? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so dark and brooding. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different, dark and demented and messed up. Oh my god, I'm so turned on right now. 
It's just that these those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Like about human experiment prisons, for example. By the way, I have a secret project I want you to work on. It's a human experiment prison. And horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals and their own philosophy. That's what they believe in. Or their own philosophy that they believe in. I keep reading these too fast. Then suddenly, what you thought was related to the protagonist, they, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided mora morals interfere with the villain's plan. Oh, I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm not again. This happens every time I say words. I just ramble. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. I mean, it's kind of awesome. Well... I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. <laughs> when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I totally spoiled the whole book for you, didn't I? I'm so sorry if I ended up saying something strange. I really want you to like me. <laughs> Please stop me if I'm talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I could do is listen. I mean... God, I would listen to a girl talk about writing like that fucking all day long if I had the chance. It, it's a literature club after all. Really, really hot. Ah, uh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you, you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, there's a gun in the blood and it'll shoot you. Let me just get the book. Quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. We'll read at the same pace, it'll be cute. We turn the pages for each other, it'll be great. It's, well, then just... Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulders as I read. Oh, she's reading the same book? I am! That's why I get it. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. You know, I've never actually... Do people do this? Do they, like, read the same book, like, next to each other? Is that a thing? I feel like it could be, you know? Like, you could do it with ebooks pretty easily. And Yuri's in, Yuri is in the corner of my eye. She shrank down and jumped inside my eyeball. She's just dancing in, in my eye. It's very painful. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. She's looking at my book! I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. S so sorry. It w I was just... You really, really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Thanks for making me self-conscious about it. Jeez. So sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. The two of them being the desks. That's what I meant. Ah... Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Ooh, uh, it's getting kind of hot and heavy in here. Once we lean in a little, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, oh the view changed. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Oh, I'm really getting... Look, there's a computer in the corner. That's very, very exciting and not at all distracting to me. Ah, I do the same with my right arm with the right on the right side of the book. And then, by our powers combined, we rip the fucker in half. <laughs> yeah! That way, I turn a page and then Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. Communal book reading! But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Ah, I mean, there's clearly only just lines in the book anyway. I'm clearly meant to look over in this direction for some reason. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. She's in the corner of my vision. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. I think you got a bit distracted for a second. Let's over Gary's face again and our eyes meet. And then she just devours my face. Just... Don't know if I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. Not as used, you're not as used to reading, right? Don't mind being patient if it takes a, you a bit longer. You gotta pronounce the words in your head. The cat read. Yes, I know exactly how. It's probably the least I can do since you've been so patient with me. Oh, she's smiling now. Oh, it's adorable. E yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. It says compelling. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. She puts her hand down and smears it down because she's not done. We continue the first chapter in silence. We, however, will not be talking about what the hell this book's about, because it doesn't matter. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Oh my god! Hey, Yuri. <laughs> this might be a silly thought, but you want to read it backwards? The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Even though we're the only ones who know about it. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second-guesses all of the things she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. To be fair, it's all copper wires and um, electricity. That's all that's in there. But they're kind of reminiscent of you, of, of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But RJ, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Of course, oh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. W wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Just a, I don't really know you that well kind of way, you know. Boop. So I really don't know if you're self-conscious about that sort of thing. Uh, I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, ah. What are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone! <laughs> oh, jeez. I think it's time we share today's poems with each other. That's a good spot to continue the narrative next time on the next episode of Game Waltz. So, if you haven't subscribed already, please, I encourage you to, if you like... Thanks. You don't miss the episode. Um, I will see you next time, everybody. And we're out. Good job, guys. Super proud of that one. Oh, I hope they like it. <laughs> think we're getting any subscribers? Where's my yogurt? I just had it. <laughs>